Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. So I thought I would do a bonus reading and probably will last for the next couple of days, possibly extending to a few days, divine timing and all that. It will be for all signs, so as always it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. Um, let's see what we get. So what do we have please Angel Spirits Guides for this reading? Message for all signs please. So we have staying focused, hold the course. This is a card of stay on track. Okay. So what do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides for all signs? Thank you. For the next few days, what is the message people need to hear the most? Thank you. Okay, Five of Pentacles. High Priestess. Seven of Wands, Three of Swords, Three of Cups, Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck we have the Seven of Swords. So let's clarify this Two of Cups. So we have Temperance. Okay. See, I wonder what this, I'm just going to pull one for this Seven of Swords. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> we have the Nine of Cups. Let's clarify this Three of Swords. Okay, so I've got the Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely an energy that you have an opportunity to manifest something concrete in your world, a new beginning, that is the Ace of Pentacles. It's a helping hand from the universe opening a new door and it comes after some emotional pain. The Three of Swords is to do with, can be to do with some truth coming to light that cuts deeply, causes emotional pain, disappointment in whatever context for you. But the beautiful thing is, I mean, it feels like there's a silver lining here, a new opportunity. And it's interesting that it's crossing that, the Three of Swords, that which hurt you, there is an opportunity to manifest something new. Now, the Ace of Pentacles can be to do with, um, it is about what you wish to manifest in your conscious reality. So, it can be to do with finan financial opportunity, career opportunity, it can be to do with moving, relocating, to do with property, and can be to do with foundational relationships as well. So, it feels like for some of you, you've been hurt, but there is something that you want to manifest now in your conscious reality that you see as a new beginning, a new doorway. And it comes, it comes after feeling some, and it can be, I mean, the Five of Pentacles can be about financial loss or feeling changes in your finances that are putting you out in the cold, you know. These people are feeling lack, you know, not having enough. Um, can also be about being rejected, um, or self-worth, self-esteem being damaged. So it can be to do with your your relationship, it can be to do with your money and career. The loving message is with the High Priestess, trust your intuition every step of the way. 
but in how you act, how you stay focused, how you get back on track. Because this is a card of getting back on track in a way. It's the winter is over, the spring is here. Um, can also be about communication, collaboration, support between people, friendships. So it feels in this situation, I mean, this can also be a card of reasons to celebrate. Um, the High Priestess is a card of listen to your intuition here. Uh, listen to your soul, soul energy, your soul light, because that is how you find the path forward. And stay focused. Hold your nerve. Stay on course. Hold the course. It's interesting, those words. Because that is a card, it is a card of holding the course in a way, the seven of wands. It is a card of perseverance, patience, um, determination, action, uh, resoluteness to overcome anything that challenges you. And then we have this seven of swords, which can be about... It can be a card of hidden agendas, putting a hidden agenda towards getting your happiness, your, your wish fulfillment. I mean, certainly in terms of, of money and career for some of you, there is definitely the energy on this table that there is some kind of heart's desire, wish fulfillment, goal you have the opportunity to attain. If you put effort, energy, determination, passion towards it now, that is the message, hold the course, stand resolute, don't give up. You know, and again, the celebratory energy, you will come through the other side of this situation. And obviously, be grateful to those that supported you and guided you as well. It's about community, collaboration, as well, the Three of Cups, and friendship, emotional support. Because we have the Temperance and the Two of Cups. Now, both of these... In terms of love, romance, relationships, this is definitely an energy of these can be both reconciliate reconciliation energies. Um, so for some of you, there is definitely this energy that I'm getting of in love, this could be reconciliation. You know, the Seven of Wands is almost kind of like trumping the Seven of Swords. Any deception or lack of truth that made you feel hurt. Some truth coming to light can be third-party situations. It feels like you have the opportunity to come through the other side of it, to, other side of it together, united as the front. And some kind of reconciliation going on here, getting back your happiness, your joy, your wish, you know, your wish coming true, what you really wanted. It, I'm definitely getting that because the Ace of Pentacles is the opportunity that's over the negative here. So it feels for some of you that there's, even though there has been some wound inflicted, it feels like there is some opportunity there. And that's what I'm definitely getting for some of you, certainly in terms of love, romance, relationships. And it can be equally in terms of money career as well, because, you know, the temperance card, again, is, can be reconciliation, can be about finding your balance um, give and take, you know, uh, it can be about finding the solution, the way through you know, opposing forces, the middle ground, you know, can be a card of compromise as well. And I'm definitely feeling and, and finding your flow again. And that is to do with this Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups can be, it feels like some of you, it can be reconciliation. It can also be offers, invitations that bring you joy, happiness. Um, but it feels in this situation, this this temperance which you sometimes see as fire and water so you know the fire and water are two opposite extremes and it feels like you've been dealing with some kind of extreme situation either in money and career or it could be in love the message remains the same and for some of you i mean there could have been 
you know, betrayal, there could have been things going on beneath the surface that maybe came to light that hurt you deeply and it's how you've managed to, to really stay determined, hold the course, stay on track to come through the other side of this and reconcile. It can also be about putting some kind of covert plan in place in order to achieve your wish, your hope, your dream in terms of money and career. But the beautiful thing is that you are going to get back on track. I mean, this is a great energy of um, re-establishing, reconnecting the bond. Um, certainly in terms of love, romance, relationships. And it definitely feels, again, in, in terms of money and career, possibly an offer, an opportunity. Which, again, is is this it's saying don't focus on this that's what angel spirits guides don't focus on this you need to stay focused on what you need to manifest now because this can be career financial opportunity um like i said before moving relocating you know manifesting something new in your conscious reality a window of opportunity and it feels in this situation that the window of opportunity is either to reconcile in a relationship or it can be to receive some opportunity or offer from somebody that you might have bonded with you know shared feelings shared expressions shared passions um can also be about getting the the passion back in life you know um bringing the wish fulfillment to your door so it definitely feels very positive for some of you the message is yeah just don't don't focus on the lack because if you feel if you focus on the lack you miss the opportunity the window of opportunity that's around you very interesting reading so i'm going to pull a final card yeah we have tree this tree wisdom this tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes very nice energy so i hope you enjoyed it if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful uh, few days for you and i will see you next time thank you